Hi, I'm Pei Qian, and today I'm going to talk about China's economic outlook for the year 2020. I think 2020 will be an important year for China to achieve a series of medium-term policy goals. Firstly, China aims to double their 2010 GDP by 2020. Secondly, China will be completing their 13th five-year plan in 2020, where they pledged medium to high growth rates. And finally, China will also be in the final year of their three-year structural reforms, where they pledge to control the debt, eliminate poverty, and put pollution under control. So with a series of medium goals to achieve, I think China's growth momentum will most likely remain stable at current pace of around 6% in 2020. With the U.S. and China just signed a phase one trade deal, the near-term uncertainty of U.S. and China further escalating tariff have been greatly reduced. Market sentiment will be boosted in the short term, and we think China's policymakers will return to reform and fiscal easings to stabilize the growth momentum. China has engaged in a great scale of tax cuts in 2019 of around 2 trillion yuan, we think the impact will be felt in 2020 as corporates start to pick up the investments marginally. Although US-China trade relations still remain uncertain and a longer-term resolution has not been seen, we think China's policymakers will focus instead on state-led infrastructure projects to offset the downside pressures from the corporate sentiments and investments. Consumers will likely to pick up their consumption and spending as well, with ta tax cuts benefiting them into 2020. Finally, for monetary policies, we think with debt control being one of the medium-term policy priorities, it's very unlikely that the central bank will engage in aggressive stimulus again, like what we have seen in the previous easing cycles. Instead, we expect the central bank to remain prudent and only have a targeted easing bias towards supporting the consumer sector, the manufacturing sector, as well as the private sector. We think the focus for monetary policy in 2020 will be more on credit reallocation to the needed sector rather than boosting credit growth. Thank you for watching, and do remember to follow us on LinkedIn and Twitter for more updates.